Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed Britton. And as the title suggests, I'm here for a readathon announcement. And okay, this stemmed from me doing this last year, but last year I did the I Know What You Did Last Summer a thon. So this year this might be the last time this takes place in October because I have a couple of other ideas on how to take this movie book themed readathon into spring. So n more to come from that. But welcome to Practical Magicathon. Where we will be reading and watching Practical Magic. And I'm hosting this on my channel. It is to get me to read more dark literature. And this might be the last time I do dark literature themed readathon because I get that there's so many in October going around. But if you don't know what dark literature is, um, the point of this readathon is to read nothing but dark literature during this week, and that is horror, paranormal, mysteries, thrillers, dark romance, stuff like that. Things with like a darker theme. Now, Practical Magicathon will be taking place from October 8th all the way to October 15th. And on October 15th at 2 p.m. Central, we will have a live show on my channel discussing the group book and or the movie. I might have guests with me. I might not. Comment down below if you would like to be there during that live show. But let's just get into these lovely challenges. You guys, this is what y'all are here for. I have five amazing challenges. And I took the most famous quote from Practical Magic. If you do not know what Practical Magic is, it is a it's a 90s film following Sandra Bullock and uh oh 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 married to Keith Urban fucks her name. I can't think of her name. I see her face. She's married to Keith Urban. Whatever. As they... It's a, it's a movie about witches. Just go into that. We will read what the book is about here in a moment. But let's just get into these prompts. I know this is kind of hectic of a video, but I'm just so freaking excited and I love what I did with this. I took the most famous quotes and let's just get into these challenges so that y'all can see what I did. So challenge number one is to always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. And that is to read either a horror or a paranormal romance. Or a paranormal book. So a book involving vampires, werewolves, ghosts, stuff like that. And I chose every book that I've chosen. I have read. I have loved. I've given all of these five stars. But wanted to shine a little bit more light on them. So for this, I'm going to recommend Goddess of Filth, Filth by V. Castro. This follows a group of girls where one of them ends up getting possessed by a demon, but that is not what frightens the hell out of me. This is an amazing novel, novella, and I highly wanted to recommend a book about witches and demonic possession. Very much practical magic vibes. 
If number one is always throw spilled salt over your shoulder, left shoulder, then number two is keep rosemary by your garden gate. And that is to read the oldest dark literature book on your TBR. Now, I'm going to recommend one of the oldest ones that I own. This book came out in... 1988. This was one of my mother's books that I kidnapped and I ended up loving. And that is Spellbound by Christopher Pike. If you cannot tell, this book has been read a lot of different times. I may reread it this year. I may not. Who knows? Um, I, if I remember correctly, because it's been a minute since I've read it, um, this follows a group of friends who, one, when they found a girl named Karen's body, her skull crushed in the river, her boyfriend's the suspect, but he said a grizzly had killed her, but a lot of people don't believe him. They thought Jason had murdered her in a fit of rage, and now weeks have passed, and Jason has another girlfriend Cindy Jones, and there are new kids in town, Joni and Quiet Alex. Cannot get his... I know, and Bala, the foreign exchange student from Africa, the grandson of a powerful shaman. Together they will return to the place where Karen was killed. Some will die. The others will come face to face with a horror beyond imagining. This book gave, gave me nightmares, and it gives me nightmares every time I read it. It's fucking amazing. Next, prompt number three, is plant lavender for luck. And what genre needs the most luck? Mystery thrillers. And for this, which this is also the October... Thrills and Chills Book Club book. And I thought this would be the perfect place to shout that out a little bit. But Clown in a Cornfield, which is a slasher. With killer clowns. What mystery thriller you need? It's a horror mystery thriller, and it's fucking phenomenal. Read it, go into a blind. And last but not least... Well, not last but not least, because we have two more problems. But the last one for this quote, number four, and fall in love wherever you can, which is to read a dark romance. And for this, this is not dark in the sense of vibes, but in the sense of themes. This is one of the heaviest, ooh, excuse me, romances I have ever read. I would count things like this as dark romance as well, but I would like to recommend Someday Someday by Emma Scott. Yes, the vibes on the cover. How long would you wait for love? This follows two guys, Max and Silas, um, who both have traumatic pasts, and it takes them both coming to terms with the things that have happened, i.e. drug addictions, prostitution, um, suicidal attempts, conversion therapy. There's a whole list of things. And this book shattered my heart and soul. But I feel like this is something that everybody who reads it will get something out of it. Again, thank you, Nikki, for recommending this to me earlier this year. And last but last but not least is Amas Virtus, which is Love Spell, is to read the group book and or watch the movie. And the group book is Practical Magic by Alice Oseman. I have never read Practical Magic, but I have seen the movie many, many times. For more than 200 years, the Owens women 
had been blamed for everything that went wrong in their Massachusetts town. And Jillian and Sally endured that fate as well. Children and sisters were forever outsiders, taunted, talked about, pointed at. Their elderly uh, aunts almost seemed to encourage the whispers of witchery and their musty house and their exotic concoctions and their crowd of black cats. But all Jillian and Sally wanted was to escape. One would do so by marrying, the other by running away. But the bonds they share, even into adulthood, brought them back almost as if by magic. Bum, bum, bum. I am excited to finally read the book to one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm hoping I like the book. If not, I will DNF and talk about that in the live show. But I have the audiobook all ready to go for next month. And I cannot wait. I'm excited. Absolutely was nice copy for this specific point. But yes, I hope you guys join us October 8th through the 15th reading Practical Magic and as much dark literature as possible. Um, I'll have all the prompts, all the dates, all everything you need to know linked down below. I will be hopefully vlogging this week to see how much dark literature I can get read during this time period. But that is all I've got for you guys today. Comment down below and let me know, are you going to take part in Practical Magic of Thawne 2023? I had so much fun last year doing the I Know What You Did Last summer Marathon, even though that book became one of my most hated books of all time. I had so much fun discussing it and talking with you guys about things. So I'm excited. So yes, comment down below. Let me know. What did y'all think of the prompts? Which prompts are you most excited for? Um... I will read the quote together as we're about to leave. And that is, always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe. And until next time... Always be fabulously and magically yourself. A oh boy.